everyone, welcome or welcome back to Studiesing. In case you're new to the channel, hi, I'm a music student going to the 12th grade and right here you'll see study related content and sometimes while journaling. Today's video is the second one of our back to school series of 2020 and I'll be doing the setup and decorating my ARC notebook. So let's get into the video. So this is my discs notebook, um, it is from ARC, a brand from Staples, and for those of you who don't know the concept of disc binding, it basically combines the shape of a notebook so you can easily carry it from place to place wherever you need, but it has a versatility of a binder because you can just take and put back all the sheets, the covers, everything, um, so you can basically just customize it to what you like more and to what suits you the best. And the first thing that I will personalize on my notebook is this little pocket on the front where I'm going to put a little school schedule that I'll be making on the next time lapses. Um, just to inform you, here in Portugal, the leather arc notebook is 25 euros. The one in fabric is around 24 euros. And then they have ones in like plastic, polypropylene actually I don't know if I'm saying this correctly but okay <laughs> um, they they do last like really long if you treat them careful obviously but I prefer to choose the leather cover one um, because I, I I want to use it like for university so yeah I just feel like the leather will last longer than the plastic one Basically, for my schedule, I just did a little table after doing the measures and I just wrote schedule in Portuguese with a brush pen in metallic pink from Artline Decorite and then used a washi tape on the sides from Alehoff just to give it a little different look. And for the table itself, I'm using a black fine liner from Stettler to do it, to do the lines a pink one to do the days of the week and a grey one to do like the hours. Um, I wrote Saturday because I mean we usually don't have school at Saturdays but with all of this going on I really don't know so yeah. This was the final result of the schedule and I just thought it looked so so cute. I really loved the final result and it is just going in there. Now. Um, it has like these little three pockets that you see here that I wasn't being able to open but okay <laughs> and in the first one I'll just be putting this little blue card um, which I wrote my name on and my class just in case I ever lose the notebook let's hope not and yeah basically I just cut this little blue paper and just wrote my name in fake lettering for the second pocket I'll be putting in my cafeteria card for my lunches because this way I'll just end my classes, get the card out and just go to the cafeteria instead of being looking it on my purse or my wallet or whatever. And finally I bought some new post-its that you can see on the last video from this series but I had these lying around, they are from Note and just super useful to be here so in case of an emergency or something like that I just will take them out of here and yeah. And then on the back cover the notebook just has this little ring to put my pen on and if you have been following me for a while you know that Ink Joys from Papermate are my ultimate favorite pens to write with so yeah that's the one I'm putting in here. It was being a little difficult to put in there, but yeah, then it all went all right. <laughs> so the notebook already had 60 sheets and I will be dividing it through five subjects. So basically what I'll be doing is take off 10 sheets and then dividing the 50 others through those five subjects. So here are the, the sheets that I took off, it was a really simple process and now I have these discs, the medium one I will save them to use on the notebook later if I need it and the bigger ones I bought them with the purpose of 
um, using them for any loose leaves that I have laying around or for the sheets that I won't be using anymore at the end of the semester. So yeah, these big discs have 38 millimeters, and what I'll be doing right now is just opening them and put all of these 10 sheets in them. So here are the discs and let's just start putting the sheets in them. I'll be honest with you, it wasn't difficult, but obviously it isn't as practical as putting the sheets on the notebook because here the discs are loose but I just divided the sheets between like two or three little groups and yeah it was super easy to do and here is the final result it looks like another notebook um, and yeah basically that's it I still have one spare disc because they just have like one spare disc <laughs> in the set in case I lose one of them or just for some reason I need it then I got these three refills, but I won't put them in the discs right now. I will only open them if I really need them because they are super good where they are right now. Getting back to the notebook, if you've seen my school supplies haul, if you haven't just go check it out. <laughs> but yeah, if you've seen it, you know that I bought these really cute dividers. They have black and gray patterns. Um, and I chose these ones because I just thought they were really really beautiful and different from all the dividers I've ever seen so yeah <laughs> um, basically right now I will be showing you all the patterns and I'm just in love with them so this is the first one with little waves on, on the back they are all black then they also have like these little labels so you can identify all the subjects then this one with different sized circles this one with horizontal stripes that I found really, 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 really cute. And I think this one is my favorite. It just has like these little um, dots, like gray dots, and it is so, so cute. And the last one, which is also very beautiful. I just don't know how to describe it. It just has like these amazing random shapes. And yeah. <laughs> then they all had this cardboard on the back I think it was probably to make the packaging easier and then this little paper thing that came in the front that you already seen while it was packed um, these dividers are not in in cardboard or anything they are also in like that plastic the proly poly pine I don't know how to say it um, yeah about the labels, I won't be using them because I think they, I mean, they will ruin the beautiful of the dividers. So yeah, I will show you how to identify everything later. And I will use the labels for other things that you'll see on the next videos. So basically what I'll be doing right now, right now is just counting 10 sheets and then putting the dividers between them until I have them all in. left this last one with sound on and a little slower than the rest of them because I think this sounds so satisfying that I wanted you to hear it too. <laughs> so yeah, all the dividers are on and as you could see it is a really quick and easy process, just like it was with all the sheets. And how will I identify these dividers? Basically I just took a little post-it, these ones are from Make Notes. Um, and yeah, basically I just put the post-it on the side of the first, the first page of the notebook and identified every subject with every divider. <laughs> In case you want to know, the subjects that I'll be using on my ARC notebook are Portuguese, Integration Area, Analysis, Music's History and Arts and Culture's History. No, History and Culture of Arts, yeah. <laughs> because those are the subjects where I have more theoretical information, so yeah. 
so the last accessory that I got is this transparent pencil case it is obviously also from ARC and I can just put it in, on my notebook um, I'll be showing you everything that I'll be taking every day to school because I don't have a color code for my um, subjects so yeah each day I just take notes with a different color so yeah the first thing obviously are my my sweetie ink joy from paper made um, and I just have two blacks and one blue because I write a lot more in black but I'll have the blue one in case someone needs it or I just have to write in blue or if I just feel like it then these five fineliners neon from Stettler um, because I use I do use a color code on my bullet journal like when it comes to planning and everything so yeah it's just useful to have them in there then my Velocity Pro mechanical pencil from Bic which is 0.7 millimeters and obviously some refills for the mechanical pencil and a rubber from my pad and finally a little whitey white out i don't know how to call it but yeah um it was a little more difficult to put the pencil case on because the material is harder but no problem so now a little free flip through um on my notebook and yeah i just loved how these front pockets ended up looking like and yeah just a little post-it and here are all the dividers As you can see, I took off the pen that I had on the end of the notebook because I thought it didn't make sense since I will always have the pencil case with me and it just wasn't that practical because of the dividers, so yeah. This was the video guys, I love to do this, I have wanted a notebook like this for two years now, so yeah, I'm really happy that I got mine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment down below some ideas for the next videos. Bye zings!